Right then, hi and welcome to a kind of like a new structured videos for YouTube, which I'm going to be doing, and I'm going to be covering the different softwares available for for tuning. Basically, we am tuning. We're using aftermarket tools and things like that. So this is an aftermarket software. This is Wells. It's one of many different softwares that you can use, but it's kind of like the one everyone leans to. It's the one that's going to help your business the most, and I'm going to show you why. So this video is just going to be about the software and what it can do for you. And then in future videos, I'll show you how to do those things. Because this, this video is mainly aimed at the people who, who either got one else and don't quite know how to use it and don't understand all the different things it can do, or for the person that's kind of looking for something to help him with his, his business or whatever he's doing. You can use it for a business level. You can use it on a personal level. There's, there's kind of like no limits to Winnells, and that's kind of what makes it so powerful. So EVCDE is where you're going to buy it from, or you can buy it from a reseller. Like I always say, if, if you're kind of like, if you're just stepping into the world, probably better off going with a reseller just, just because you get that bit of kind of like help from them because they'll know how to use it and things like that. And I'll show you to a level of what, what you need to do and give you a bit of aid. I always go to the chip tuning shop. He's not sponsoring this video, but he's someone I, who I always use and he's very good at everything. So he's someone I always put forward for people. And let's go. So Winols itself is, as I said, as an editor, so let's open it up. So we're on Winols 5 at the minute. This, this is pretty much how the workspace works. Now, Winols has got many different levels of what it can do. Like it's an editor. It's a storage unit. It's a kind of like a, a binary finder. So if you're looking for a certain tune or anything else, it's got all that built in based on your own database. And it's kind of like this. It's the before, the middle, and the end of, of a lot of the software. I run a software tuning company that which we called Calibrate Limited. It's obviously why the name is Calibrate and things like that. And we basically make software for people all over, all over the world. Uh, my portal itself... Runs 24-7. There'll be a link in the description to where you can sign up to that if you if you run a business and you're looking for someone to help you with tunes. So Winnells is a main contribution factor to that. The portal is based through, it's it's kind of like you, you read the car, you upload the tune, you purchase the credit, you when you upload the tune, the server will look at the, it'll take that tune, it'll put it through Winnells itself based on a lower script. I'll put it through Winnells itself. It'll look for a match to that tune. If it's got one, it will self-deliver. Like we don't have to sit there and make a tune for every single car that comes through. If I already have one, it will tell me in a matter of seconds and send that back straight to you. If there's a slight match or if there's some things added, say if you loaded in a stage one and I had a stage one and then you added a DPF and EGR, I would also have separately a DPF and EGR file and my server will build that all together. So I'll put the stage one, the DPF, the EGR, everything else all into that file and send it back to you. Voila, done. And that is all based on Winnells. It's the only it's the only software that will do that, but there's other softwares that will do different things. So it, it's it's all about that. It's all about getting, it's kind of like you have to have a tool for everything and, that, and this Winnells covers quite a lot of those boxes, but there will be other things that you will need to buy to, to do everything. So this, this like, Winnells is based on a master tool user. I will go into tools in separate videos and show you what the differences between slaves, masters, different tools, Kess, Flex, Magic. There's, there's thousands, of, well, I wouldn't say thousands, but there's, there's many different tools out there that will do different things and they all have their strengths and weaknesses and they're all very expensive. So it's best to cover those aspects before you go and purchase a tool and then find out that tool is no good for you. So it, it's good to cover those things to keep people up to date. But this is about Winnells. So Winnells is from a German company called EVC Electronic. They have a website. Go and have a look. It's evc.de. And it will tell you the basics about their software and what they do. You can you need to create an account before you can purchase Winnells. This is for the fact that that account number there is linked to you on Winnells. And everything you purchase through that then, then on goes back to your account. So it's all online, it's all things like that. You can buy plugins, you can you can buy tunes, you can do all sorts of stuff. And I'll show you that. As you can see, reseller marketplace. The reseller marketplace is like one of the, the biggest collection of files on the internet, I'd say. It's basically where you can 
Say if I had a tune from a VW Golf, I load it into WinOS, I haven't got that tune. Within seconds, I can look in somebody else's library and see if they have that tune. And if they do, I can download it and away we go. Dogs found a squeaky toy. I'm just going to take the offer. Two sets. And back. So, and back. So, the dog's now lost a squeaky toy and she's now talking. I'll give it a back after the video. I just, it's just annoying. So, anyway, Winnells, it's got a big reseller platform. If I just, I'm not sure how much info it gives you on here. But you can see it all on their website. It'll explain it all to you how to become a buyer, how to do these different things. Basically, it runs on a credit credit basis. I've got my own. That's what this is called. I calibrate old X because I have my own library of files on there too, where you can purchase and you purchase the credits through my portal. It's all done automatic. You buy the the credits. It will update your your credit amount on your account. You go on to find the tune you want. Double click, download. You're done. That's quite. It's quite a powerful thing because it's speed. Because in in tuning, a lot of the time you're you're selling time. So the faster you can do things, the, the better it is all around. And you'd get an open file which has got the original and the tune. So you can make all the software changes you need to make. Use it as a base file. Could be a finished file. Could be any anything you want to do with it. Like it's it's this is tuning. Like everyone's got their own way of doing things. So don't be kind of like run down by all the like oh so and so's done this and so and so it's. To find your own way and the customers will come to you based on how you do things if it suits them so it's pretty much like anything it's like making like painting nails like, so there's different people that paint nails some people do it better than others some people like do different things to others people will go to whoever they want to go to so don't get too soaked up on the tuning side just yet so the, the, the way the system works you you will download winnels so you'll get pretty much which, whichever package you buy does it tell you on here? Yeah, so you've got Winnells on here. So whichever package you buy, you kind of get the same things depending on how you want to run your business. So when you purchase Winnells now, you'll get Winnells 5 straight away. Winnells 5 isn't licensed on the, the old X that I'm using because I only use it for old X. I don't use it for anything else. Whereas the software I use for the actual tuning side is, is on Winnells 5. You've got an overview so you can watch the video things like that, highlight 2D. I will go through all of these things and teach you how to use 2D, 16-bit, 32-bit float and all that kind of stuff and I'll tell you about them. It's cool to got automatic checksums built in. A checksum is basically a, a math, mathematical algorithm on the, the software itself and if, if this doesn't verify, then your car won't start or you're going to have issues and things like that. Most tools cover all the checksums these days. It's kind of like an old school thing, unless you're doing things like immobilizer deletes and things like that. I've noticed that there's quite a few EEPROM uh, reads and writes that aren't covered with the checksum. They just cover the actual map data. So just bear that in mind. You might need to buy some some plugins based on that. There's also all the plugins for like A2L import, which I'll go through. Uh, translator so if you most things Barsha in German pretty much everything Barsha is in German so to make German into English there's a translator for that so it's quite a powerful tool to have a lot more a lot more usable than the what you see the clone version that people use stay away from that it, it's a mess if you're going to go into this industry and you want to be serious about it then start with the software straight away you learn you shoot yourself in the foot later don't go oh I just want to have a try with it and things like that if you want to do that Download the demo mode. They have a demo mode. You can't export, but you can mess around in Winnells itself just to see how it works. If you want to use it as a, for a company, then please just, just go and spend a bit of money on them. It's cheap. I think it's like five, six hundred euros for the actual full software to use it. And then it's it, that's for the basic one. You've got two seats and things like that with it. But the, the actual editing side is the same. It's just when you want to use like resellers, but you can also add to that later on. You can use resellers in a standard package, but you can't sell yourself on a standard package. You've got to add that to it. I think it's like 500 euros on top and things like that. So it can get a little bit expensive depending on what you kind of want to use it for. So kind of go slow with it and just work your way into it. I've been I'll, I'll buying plugins for many years and I kind of grew. I didn't buy them all at once. I've kind of grew into it as I needed them rather than just buying them as you go in. So Winols itself is an editor. And it's a database. So, what I mean by that is, if I grab a file, if I've got any files on the desktop, I don't. Problem. If I just grab a file, right, let's export this. I'll show you all this in other videos. I don't really want to go too much into all that, but I just want to show you what Winels does. 
So say you've gone to a car, you've read that car with whatever tool you need, doesn't matter if it's OBD, bench, boot, doesn't matter. Like Windows will still open that file and look at it if it can. So you've got obviously different ways of opening a file, project, new, you can do like that, but I'm a drag and dropper. So I just grab it, drag it, drop it, slap it on the screen. And this is the fun bit. So this bit here, it's kind of like the process that Windows is going to go through to upload that tune because it's putting it into a database. So it's, it's logging that, that stock file that you're putting in. So in fact, first of all, it's sending information. You can skip this bit. Next. Next thing is the powerful part, which is the bit that I tell everyone about. In, in those few seconds, it's managed to check my entire database, which is, I think there's like 40,000 projects in here. I mean, each project could have, some of them have got over 500 maps in. So overall, you're probably looking about, I don't know, 50, 200,000 maps. And it's looked through that in a matter of seconds or milliseconds to, to tell you if you already have that, that file in your database. So on here, it says, yeah, you've got 100% match, the actual project's 100%, and the actual data inside that project, the data area being the calibration area is 100%. And, I, and, and on the project tree, so that's saying I've got a project, and within that project, I've got an original and stage one VMAX and EGR off. So if I wanted to, if I had a car in front of me now that was a, a the same Peugeot and it, it caught with a 100%, I could just export that file, write it straight to the car, and I'm done. That's it, finished. It's like, that's it. Like, I know it's a tune that works because it's one I've, I've built before and used. I wouldn't just build it without using it. So I've, I've built and used it. It's worked. It's there. You're done. Like that, 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 that's that's pretty much how powerful Winolds is. So, if I want to ignore that, ignore that, and show you the next stage, it's going to look for checksums. Of course, as I said, Ted, to you, tool does most of checksums. Don't need that. So, Danny, I've got don't accept checksum, and then I've got next, and and, and then you get your project info. So, all this is a bit that fills that database up, so I can tell what tool I've read it with. I can say what. What ECU it was. It, a lot of times it does find all this. So I could say 7.1A. It's in there as well. If you tick, tick the boxes, you can do all that. It tells me all the information about that tune. Like what, what, what's in, what, what does it see patterns within that software to, to, to like kind of like find the actual software number and things like that. I go through all that too. And then that, so that's, you know, it, it's kind of like a, a massive, folder without you having to search for projects yourself you imagine if you had that Persia now sat in a folder and you've got to find try and find it. how long would it find take you to find that exact software version and even so how would you know that that software version is exactly the same because tools read different ways so like b flash might read different to cmd cmd could then read different to flex flex could read different to Kess. It, it, it's just like a it, so you never know what you've got unless you, you kind of understand the software so you kind of so you don't have to worry about all that with Winnells. It told me. So if I go back and I go back again, it told me I've, I have that exact match within my database already. So I could go cancel, open the one selected above, and that's it. That's that. To that that's the exact same file. So that's how my kind of like the, the server works. It works that, that's how fast it works. Without you imagine doing that as a computer, like that's just me doing it the slow way. So. That's that's that. Like, but when you're so that kind of covers that little part. If I want to to search that on a, another database, so if I want to search the resellers, like I said to you, I could go on resellers. So I could go find similar projects. I could change the Dyna chip tuning files, and that will go. It'll take a few seconds. I can't remember the last time I logged on to Dyna chip tuning files. So what it's doing now is basically downloading while opening that software within their database to see if there's a tune. If it is a tune and it matches, I can just go buy that tune off them. So if it, I can, you can you can pretty much sign for as many or sign up for as many resellers as you like. There's no limit to it. If they will accept you, you can sign up for them. And there you go, it's locked within that folder. And if we go down to the bottom, it says I've got 100% matching there too. Stage one VMAX. So I could go and buy, I could go and purchase that straight from them. I've got six credits, so it probably won't let me, but I'll tell you how many credits it is. You purchase it up from them, instant download, away you go with the job. That simple. And these people will, there's a, they're on there, when you create an account with them to, to actually get on their reseller, there's like a little bit on there which gives you support for files that you can buy off here. So if it doesn't quite work for you, 
you can go onto their support and they will help you with that file. So you're not just buying that file, you're buying the service with it too. So they are at hand to help you. Same with those, same with, there's, there's many of them. BC Consultant's a good one, Dyna Chichin and Files, they're, they're, they're quite good. There's quite a few, you know, quite a few all right ones that are out there that will help you. That that you know, they're normally restricted to like stage one, stage two stuff at most. And they probably would just get you by, but you, you do really need to kind of have a bit of, bit of knowledge about you to, to be able to do much with the tunes or even just a log to find problems faster. I'll go through that too. I want to cover login and things like that. I have my own logger, which you kind of get as a dealer. You get access to, you get that for free. So there's, there's lots of things that we can do to kind of help each other. But anyway, so when you open a software in WinOLS, it doesn't give you any maps. This is the difference between WinOLS and, and proper and like tuning editors where you've got like ECM Titan, which is driver based. It will give you a list of what different maps are available for that ECU. So it might tell you what boost is, what fuel is, what this is, what that is. Swift text is same, and that will also do other things too. Then you've got uh, Stage X, which is quite it's quite a new. But I quite like it. It's quite good. Like there is stage, there is things built into this system that you can use other other stuff for, which I will go through. But Stage X have got their own plugin where you can download a map pack straight into your map on here. It costs like twenty credits, which is about twenty euro. It's pretty cheap, really, for what for what you get, and it, it's it's quite good too. It's getting better. But I'll, I'll go through that too. That's kind of like another addition. So if, don't be scared off by the fact that you don't get tunes straight away, because even for just this part of it, if you're buying tunes, so you've read a van, you put the stock file into your database, you bought a tune, you put the, then once you finish that that van and your car, whatever it's going to be, and that tune works, put that tune in, into your project. Which I'll, again, I'll show you. You put that tune into your project, you save it. You get another van in, which is running exactly the same software. You read the van, you put it into WinOLS, it'll tell you that you've got a match straight away. Yep, you've got that 100% match. Even if it's like an 80% match, I can show you how to put the tune into your software. So you don't have to buy another tune, you can just do it like that. So it, it just saves you money too. And it, it kind of like gives you a bit more kind of like leverage for doing marketing and things like that because you can have a bit of extra cash lying around which you can use it so when you purchase winnows it's an investment but it's you're not just buying winnows or just to have winnows and shout about it online it's it is an investment it will save you money in the long run so in the future videos i'm going to see, show you how to download it how to set it up all the different things you can do with it then i'm going to go through a couple of different softwares and kind of like show you how to use them and things like that and then i'll i'll also run alongside that i want to start looking into ecm titanium i want to look into stage x i want to look into swift tech to get you up to speed with those and then i also want to kind of like run through what a dyno does the important things about dynos i could show you a road dyno like we've got all the tools and we're going to show you all about all everything so if you want to kind of learn about all that that's going to be how this this kind of like youtube channel is going to be for the next few months so i'm going to just go through all that just to get you up to speed so if you do book in with training with me i don't have to cover the basics i don't want to be covering the basics anymore it's boring like watch these videos get up to speed give me a bell and then we'll, we'll get you on the dyno and get you tuning cars properly without going through all the classroom boring stuff like I'm, I'm a tuner i don't want to be sat in a classroom so this is kind of like my way out of that so and it's it's free to everyone they can just come on to youtube and video and watch the video themselves so like subscribe if it's something that you want to do and then we'll we'll get through the rest of these and get you on the journey on that tuning path to kind of learn about how to tune let's go